today's color scheme is color scheme number six, which is analogous with split complements. And I'm standing in my front yard in New Jersey. It's um, the end of October, and normally the colors would be much more brilliant this time of year. Uh, it was my birthday last week, and in New Jersey, the most beautiful weekend is always the one closest to my birthday. And this year, it was basically green. And in the last few days, it's turned a little bit yellow, but kind of brown. So, um, so looking out here, color scheme number six is analogous with split complements. And I can see using that, the yellow, the yellow-green, the green. In the background, the back hedgerow, there are some reds. Um, kind of red oranges, but I could, you know, play with that a little bit. And then go with the violets for the shadow areas in the tree and the trunk and the, um, the shadows. So that could work. Now, somebody else might pick this, where, forgetting the red, you're going to go more red-violet in the back hedgerow and go with the yellow oranges, the yellow and the green and then have cooler shadows, have the blue-violet. You could go even further, now see so you're being more inventive now, um, and go with the yellows, oranges, heading back. It's not going to be so green. It'll look more the way that it should be this time of year in New Jersey. Um, and add some blue into it. You could use blue in the sky then instead of a lavender. And again, go with red violets and blue violets for the shadows. Now, if you went the other direction, there, this isn't feeling quite like that for me, but over here, um, this might be a little bit more this color scheme. You've got some lights and darks of the greens, blue greens, yellow greens in the grass, you've got cooler greens in the um, uh, you have cooler greens in the conifer and we can always play with the red and the purples. Um, so just a comment on, on just being out here and looking for color schemes. Um, this is part of the joy that, that I love about art. Uh, often I think that being a painter is just an excuse so that I can be outside and exploring and having adventures or um, going places I'm not allowed to go but then they see you've got a sketchbook and I'm busy drawing so they say okay fine they bring me coffee or whiskey or whatever it is and um, and all of a sudden I become their friend instead of a trespasser so um, and here I am talk about this color scheme we have the red where's the red well I'm seeing red in the dried up corn stalks. Now, if I weren't out here looking for this color scheme, I might not think of them as red, but the more I look at them, the more I can invent them that way. And, and that's, that's where your personal style comes in, your own flair as an artist, and um, just really the joy of discovering how playful you can be. So, let's begin. So here's the setup. Uh, I have a water water container that's Velcroed on. This leaks, so I have to add the water after I've already started, which is okay. And then I'll I'll put this in my pocket. Is it? Got a got a pocket thing down there. And in that pocket thing. Okay, I have a pencil, and I'm, I'm going to do very, very quick color sketch so that I can show you the difference 
in the color schemes. I think that we looked at three. So I know we looked at three. Okay, so. And I'm not worrying about composition. Okay, now the first one, yellow, yellow, green, green, red, and violet. away from the green, away from the red, into red-violet. pretty different in terms of color, isn't it? Okay, one more. The next one, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, blue, violet, and blue, green. Imagine if you drew this out nicely and then you painted it with your own sensibilities, but using these different color schemes, how you would achieve totally different moods. And I find that really fun because you're tapping into whatever mood you're in and and then you're picking the one that that you feel more like and when you're done it's something that's not just a copied photograph or a snapshot out here and those are fine but um, I guess it all boils down to why do you paint and draw and I paint and draw for these playful moments see what you can do with color scheme number six analogous with split complements have a good time